Hi, welcome back to Change Your Mind, Change Your Life. This is the video series on overcoming chronic pain or other nuisance chronic symptoms, pain and symptoms that are the result of the mind-body connection or also what I call neural circuit syndrome symptoms. And today we're going to talk about something that I want to caution you about, and you might not even know that you're doing it, but it's a common habit that's keeping you locked into a cycle of chronic pain or chronic symptoms. And that's the concept of secondary gain. So welcome, I'm Dr. Christine Bradstreet. I run this channel here as well as a sister publication called Change Your Mind, Change Your Life. And it's all about helping people like you, people like me, live our happiest, healthiest lives with less pain and fewer symptoms. So welcome. So what do I mean by secondary gain? I want you to let your guard down as you listen to this because I know when it comes to chronic pain or other chronic symptoms, they've really made a big negative impact in your life. And I know how badly you want them to go away. So it's very common to resist the thought or the idea that you could be doing anything that's holding them tightly to you. So I want you to let down your guard. I want you to go into this with a nice open mind and be willing to consider the possibility that you're getting secondary gain, not intentionally, maybe intentionally, but most likely not intentionally or subconsciously uh, getting secondary gain from your pain or from your symptoms. So what do I mean by that? And these are the things that I want you to look out for. Secondary gain uh, can be things like well, I'm not going to be expected to do heavy-duty housework or yard work because of this back pain. Well, I'm not expected to have a desk job because of this pain. Well, I'm not expected to be able to work full-time because of this symptom or this pain. Or here's a common one. When I'm sick, people are nice to me. It gets me attention. When I'm sick, people do things for me and take care of me and help me feel secure. These are all thoughts or beliefs that are secondary gain. Now, while a secondary gain might feel positive when you're getting it, in the long run, it's making you worse. It's keeping you locked into pain, locked into symptoms. And if you truly want your chronic pain or other chronic symptoms to leave you alone, you have to be willing to let go of any secondary gain that you might be getting from them. Now, a lot of people don't know this, and I learned this in the early years of my chiropractic profession, that back pain is the most common in people in their 30s and 40s, not in people in retirement years. And the reason for this is because in your 30s and 40s, you have a tremendous amount of responsibility on your shoulders. You're probably paying for housing. You might be raising children. You might be in a relationship where somebody else depends on you. You might be taking care of aging parents. And you're also expected to keep up with the Joneses and accumulate possessions and accumulate wealth. That's a tremendous amount of external and internal pressure on, on people in their 30s and 40s. And that's the theory why they have more back pain. So look out for areas of secondary gain. If something like carpal tunnel gets you out of doing something you don't like doing, or if motion sickness prevents you from taking travel that you don't think that you deserve or that you're fearful of taking, that is going to perpetuate the cycle. Now, what do you do about it? If you recognize that you um, have some secondary gain from your symptoms or from your pain, what can you do about that? The most important thing to do is to affirm that you are taking charge of your decisions, that you choose what you say yes to, what you say no to, that you're not gonna let your pain or your symptom choose that for you. If you catch yourself starting to have warm fuzzy feelings because people are nice to you when you're sick or nice to you when you have pain and start doing things for you, I want you to recognize it. You don't have to judge yourself for it, but just recognize that you're doing it. Say to yourself, oh, there's that old habit, but that was then, and this is now, and now it's more important for me to get out of pain, to overcome this chronic symptom, than it is for me to have this 
temporary secondary gain and acknowledge that secondary gain, while it feels good at the moment, only sets you back for your future progress. All right, I hope that you'll take a minute and start examining from the past where maybe you got secondary gain from your pain or from your symptoms and then make a plan for in the future to have more awareness, more mindfulness about you doing that in the future and catching yourself and making a correction to your thought. All right, my friends, thank you for being here. I very much appreciate it. If you give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment when you find a realization about how you're getting secondary gain or if you've observed it in other people. And also be sure to subscribe while you're here. I don't want you to miss any of the content. I'm putting out regular videos to help you put an end to your chronic pain and and chronic symptoms and I'm breaking them down into small easy to manage chunks so I don't want you to miss any. Thanks again for being here. I'm Dr. Christine Bradstreet of Change Your Mind, Change Your Life and I'll see you on the next video. All right, thanks for being here. Before you leave, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when I go live or when a new video drops. And visit me at christinebreadstreet.com. Love to you all. Bye-bye. See you soon.